Morning, Dad. Morning, Grandpa. Yeah. Whoa. You put me down. Whoa. Come on. Give me all of this Shush. Cut it out. All right. Both of you, but still. What? You guys ever hear a Bigfoot? Right? Man? I'm not kidding. He's about at least 10 feet tall. Covered with hair. Half man, half... Half man, half... <laughs> well, whatever he is, he's half and half. <laughs> Little kind of raisin-like eyes, wearing sneakers and a religious medallion. <laughs> Looks like he's a Protestant. Man, man, come on over here. Come on, I want you to see him. He's just, just that side of the. Oh, no, you spoofed him. <laughs> you saw you jump up that way in the sink. Don't do that. Man, man, go get your slippers. He's gone now. Yeah, now, what's the matter with you? He's going to be upset all day now because he's Miss Bigfoot. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. I didn't do anything to him physically. <laughs> you never see that creature again, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I just wanted the kid to appreciate it. I didn't mean to scare him. I love the kid. I just kind of giving him a grandpaism, you know? <laughs> Maybe a lifesaver kind of turned his head around a little bit. You know, he used to do that to me, and I hated it. Sorry, Dwight. <laughs> Just cut it out, will you? Dwight, you know, you should come over here for a second. Remember Miss Kelly? Used to live over in Mariposa. She's moved into our neighborhood. You should see her. Ooh. <laughs> she's got a body that won't quit. Dad. I mean, she's poured into a cellophane jogging outfit. Dad. Come over, quick, quick. Dad. Long, blonde, flowing hair, big blue eyes, and big, right. big, big lady. <laughs> come on, come on. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> Don't do this to me. I thought you knew your solar system. Mars, Jupiter, Saturday. Come on. He was doing so well. I I can't do it. Ben, put a C on there for me, will you? Sure. No, no, wait. Make it a C plus. I know he's trying. What a softy. Why don't you just flunk that punk outright? <laughs> put him out on the street where he belongs. Give him a couple of years out there at hard knocks, and when he comes back, then he'll know reality. You know? What if he's like you, Dad? What if he hates reality? I'll tell you something. There's reality. <laughs> no butter. How's it going, Rob? Do you have to know everything? <laughs> You're 13. Hormonal and your mind. What's for breakfast, Grandpa? Breakfast? Oh, yes, breakfast. <laughs> They're sort of small cricket heads. <laughs> I did away with the wings. They kill the taste. <laughs> hey, can't you kids spell thaw? Come on. Yeah, hey, close that refrigerator door. You're wasting electricity, you guys. Fashion. Kid. Milk. Hypocrite. Shut up. <laughs> 
haven't eaten breakfast, and you can live with the guilt all day. <laughs> Not that. Oh. There must be something wrong with the phone. There's one of those phone company ladies up there on the pole. Uh, she's got her legs wrapped around the pole. It's amazing. She climbed up there wearing those tight jeans. Yeah. Long hair, beautiful. Oh, she fell. She fell? Mm, yeah. She still looks good. <laughs> You're pretty grumpy this morning, Rob. Even worse than usual. I don't know what it is, but for the first 15 minutes after I wake up, I despise everyone. Uh, well, that's normal. Wait till you're 16. You'll despise everyone till lunch. <laughs> hey, Dwight. I want you to see what Charlie's done here with this piece of artwork that he's done. Oh, hey, what uh -huh. is that? It's a Picasso reproduction. Uh-huh. I improved a few things, like in the original, this woman had a dog's face. Yeah. I made her look like Miss Kelly. Oh. Well, that's great. I really like this, Charlie, but I don't think Miss Kelly's ears point back like that, do you? Well, they can be made to. <laughs> that's great. Who's that on the phone? Uh, Irma, down there to Food King. She uh, was talking with the police down there about something that was like, kind of trivia. Oh. Anything good? Mmm, fairly good. What's the name of your principal again? Uh... George Farmer? Yeah. George Farmer. Apparently, uh, the police caught him. He was in sort of a, I guess it was his own terry cloth robe. And um, <laughs> he had his penknife out, and he was cutting those strings on those rump rows. <laughs> and singing, born free. Born I don't believe that. And now we introduce a free electron. Okay, you're an electron, Rigo. Get in there. Around the nucleus. Move it. Oh. Just bob, weave, cause some static. Come on. Come on. Okay, atom number one, you're unstable. You need to lose this electron. Get out of here, Rigo. Hey, knock it off. Okay, atom number one and two, you're both unstable. Of course I'm unstable. My parents are divorced. So am I. You get over it. Now, come on. Lose the electron. Let's go. This is embarrassing. I know. Now, who's got the textbooks tonight? Group B. Okay, Group B, I want pages 24 through 34 red. I want your class notes red. I want National Geographic December 88 red. Because if you don't read, you don't learn. And if you don't learn, you don't know. And if you don't know, you got nothing. Nada. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Seto. Goose egg. Oblivion. White space. Black hole. Nothingness. Emptiness. Loneliness. I know the school, man. Void, chasm, abyss. I hate that thing. All right, come on, bell's rung. Time for class. Play, grades, pressure. Ah! <laughs> Something wrong, Marietta and Jody? Fascist. My shoes and I can't walk around in just my socks. Why not? In Japan, people are always walking around in socks because we take off our shoes when we go inside. We lose our shoes all the time, too. Did you know the smart people in Japan they leave a party early to get the best shoes? <laughs> Last night, I went to the party. Check these out. <laughs> Hey guys. Hello. Hi, ladies. Hello, Elaine. 
Hey, Jack. What happened to your shoes? One of the big guys took them and threw them up where I can't reach. Oh, well, uh, tell you what, you give me a couple of minutes and I'll get them for you. I just got to go in here and talk to the principal, all right? All you got is me, assistant principal. George is gone. What do you mean, gone? What do you mean, gone? Gone. It's your language. <laughs> George resigned this morning. What do you mean, resigned? Resigned. He's gone. These are not big words. <laughs> I think George just needed to take some time off. You know, my dad said something about George being down at the Food King this morning, but I thought he was just kidding. My God, we've lost our rudder. We're adrift on the surging sea of public education without a captain. Now, come on, let's not turn this into an Old Spice commercial, all right? <laughs> we can elect a new rudder. We're school-based management. That's why I called the meeting tonight. That's great. Way to take the helm, Elaine. I wonder what made George resign. Well, how about lack of support from the entire community? Resistance from the school board? The fact that every time you turn around, there's some so-called expert commenting on the failure of the entire educational system. Plus, he hated kids. Yeah, that got in his way. Well, we got to take care of Jack here. Where'd they throw your shoes there, buddy? They tied the laces together, and they're hanging over the telephone wires. Oh, you can forget that. I'm not going up there to get them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll try to climb up there and get them after lunch, okay? Well, let's get you back to class here, and let's see. What can we do? Uh, Elaine, how big are your feet? Uh, give me your shoes. What? Give him your shoes. You mean I'm supposed to walk around in my socks all day like an idiot? <laughs> yes. Born free, as free as the wind blows, as free as the grass grows. That's enough. Yes, I am George Free. That's very funny, Rob. Thank you. You know, you're making fun of another man's misfortune. You started it. You were singing in the car. Hey, we were in the supermarket. I was being sentimental, OK? George is a friend. I know he is. But that doesn't mean I can't be deliriously happy that he's not going to be my principal anymore. Yes, I am George Free. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry we're late. We started without you. Yeah, we've gone on ahead. Uh, Charlie here is making a fantastic pot of stew. He's got some baked beans in there and brown sugar and a little bit of possum, <laughs> raccoon. And uh, we found something out in the yard. We don't know what it was. To. <laughs> Just kind of threw it in the old pot and stirred it around. Uh, it stopped kicking after a while. <laughs> oh, we're kidding, we're kidding. Kidding. <laughs> that was for Charlie. <laughs> it's a celebration, right, Charlie? Yep. We are getting a new principal, aren't we? Yeah, tonight. In fact, I have to eat pretty quickly and uh, get back to the school for the big election, so uh, I'm going to go wash up. Hmm? Mm. I wonder what poor slob is taking over. I hope it's Mrs. Yamagami. Yeah, she's nice. Too nice. It'll never be her. It'll definitely be someone we can't stand. Hey, hey, maybe it'll be that guy on the cover of Time magazine. You know, the guy with the baseball bat? Who, Pete Rose? I don't think so. I've got the answer to this. Wally Bilderhauser. <laughs> you don't know him, that's okay. A heck of a guy. 38 years old. He taught hang gliding for two full years. He doesn't teach anymore because he went in, as they say. <laughs> but he's a heck of a guy. Keep that in mind. What did I tell you? Wally Balderheiser, right? Well, that's close enough. You think Grandpa's really got a metal plate in his head? Yeah. Uh-huh. I put a magnet on his head once, and it stayed there. <laughs> So I thought everyone should know I spoke to George's wife, and she's doing fine. And so is George. And I told her that George was in our prayers. And then she told me that George hates organized religion. So I promised none of us would pray for him. But we can pull for him 
Pulling's not religious. So let's all pull for George. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for signing George's card. Now, do we have a nomination for a new principal? This is very exciting. Anyone? <laughs> Mr. Davis. I second. No. I third. Come on, I'm not talking about me. I want to recommend Elaine Yamagami. Give me a break. No, I can't do it. That's the break I was looking for. I'm here only to observe. Great. I think Davis is perfect. Wait a minute. <laughs> Based on what? Based on because you're good at stuff. I'm good at stuff? Yeah. yeah. Why, it's a perfect choice. He loves school. I agree. You'd be a very good principal. Look, yeah. I don't want to be a very good principal. Mr. Clifford, look, I, I thank you for the nomination, but I decline. Uh, no, negatory. Uh-uh. Hell! Look, I, I, thank you, but I, I couldn't possibly be recommended as principal. I don't want to be. Therefore, I won't. Oh. Yeah. All right, look, 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 please, let's just calm down, right? First of all, I don't have the patience to deal with other people's stupid ideas about how to run this place. I mean, I, I'd only want to do things my way. Besides, I belong in the classroom. I mean, I, I know science. I mean, well, well, actually, I know science, math, English, and history. I was certified in four different subjects so that wherever I went, I could always teach because that's what I love, teaching. I, I'd be a terrible bureaucrat. Plus, uh, I'm not good with, with red tape and I despise paperwork. Hell, I'd probably want to do away with all of it, you know, and, and the school board. I'd, I'd probably lose my temper with all, those, with all those boneheads and tell them to keep the hell out of our hair so we could get back to the business of teaching because that's what I really care about. I mean, you people all know me. I mean, that's who I am. I'm a, I'm a teacher. <laughs> Some in. Yeah, let's go home. This is not over yet. Congratulations for what? Mary, come back here. I, I don't want to be the principal. Come back. Look, we're not through here yet. I, I'm going to take this to the top. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Don't try to catch him. <laughs> Hi, Dwight. Hey, Elaine. Hi, Nikki. What do you say? Nothing, huh? Oh. You want to go see Gunny? He's in the kitchen. You might as well come on in, too. Thanks. Is this a bad time? Well, I got one more. Keep that elbow straight. What, do you play golf? Do I play golf? Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't even be talking to you after you sold me down the river today. I thought you were in this country to observe, not to cause trouble. And I observed that you'd be a good principal because you always want to shake things up. Yeah. You think that's what this school needs, huh? Don't you think it needs shaking up? Don't you think it needs a rebel without a car? <laughs> a cause. A rebel without a cause. Okay. Whatever. This time need a new sheriff. Someone make my day. <laughs> you get showtime, don't you? Yes. Well, stop watching it and stop telling me what to do with my life. Okay, but you better take this job. Yeah, why? Because if you don't, someone else will. Okay, soup's on. Oh, welcome to dinner, my dear. They've been slipping under that radar again. <laughs> He's got a little problem letting go. No. Uh, my dear. Thank you. I set the table. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> they were all the way in the 
Mrs. Murray's yard. You're slicing. Oh, well, I'll have to fix that. Go wash your hands. Mrs. Yamagami, she's here about what happened in history today, isn't she? Uh-huh. <laughs> What'd she say? Well, uh, I'd like to hear your version. You know nothing. <laughs> hey, uh, Robbie. What? What do you think about me becoming the principal of the school? what I thought. <laughs> I just can't believe how much rain we're getting. My God, this time of year, we've never had this kind of rain. Dad, look, I'm trying to talk to you. Well, mm -hmm. talk is cheap, Dwight. I want, you to, I want you to do something for me, seriously. I want you to start listening to me. Okay, I am listening to you. Now, what, what, do, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should give up something that, that I'm good at, something that I, that I really love, just for a few more bucks every month? Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I can tell you, you made your mind up, haven't you? <laughs> what makes you so sure? Because I'm your father. Yeah, well, I have decided to take the job. Have you? Let me tell you something, Dwight. You're going to be the best damn principal this town has ever had. And if you're not, we'll move. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm freezing my ass off. <laughs>